we all became friends because of music. Like we, you, we all used to be in separate bands, and we were playing shows together like all the time, and our friendship just kind of like uh, formed because of the music. We all became friends at Istanbul 2015, and uh, some of the guys were friends already. I came into the group of friends at least at, in 2015, and it had always been a like a joke. Uh, amongst ourselves to create the heaviest band in Iceland. I think, I think I'm allowed to say that it started out as, out as a joke. <laughs> I guess it was just one night that we decided like, hey, I've got this rehearsal space, Yo, do you want to go over there and maybe do something? And uh, at some point, I don't remember if there was like a, a decision made, like, oh, now we're gonna like make a band. It was more of just like friends getting together and like sort of jam out. You know, we, we decided to, uh, we just wanted to make something really, really, really heavy. As soon as it became evident that we had something, we, like, we had a talk. We had a very serious talk about that we perhaps just should go for it. And by go for it, I mean really go for it. And uh, so, yeah, that's basically what we did. At Why? Just for the heck of it, actually. Like, why not? The absolute insane hard work that we put into putting this project together with the, with the style and the dynamic and having all the people that we have in the band. Like, we have almost like a, there's a team of people that have different jobs. We all kind of shove everything together into making it what it is. We're kind of lucky that we have multi-talented people in the band so we like up until now when we started working with the label we've been doing everything in-house so we can control it I guess we can do like the vision we want and we just and that was kind of informed by wanting to do something heavy and that just like that was the main um, like the main art direction I guess just Heavy and bleak. So with the, the visual direction that we've been going with, like us trying to shape this this view of what we think we should look like, it's um, it's it's hard. Like it's it's very hard to find a dynamic where you can visually explain to the viewer and the listener like what what it is that we're trying to kind of make you perceive. It's it's amazing how we can like create this image ourselves and also with good enough doing our a lot of the like visual stuff in the music videos and editing and stuff like that and trying to shape all that we are into something that's watchable and like viewable and not just listenable and trying to create something that looks what it sounds like so i saw an interview with clown from slipknot and he said from like day one they were they even thought about how their shoelaces looked on stage and I remember seeing that interview and just being like man we do that as well like we totally do that like we think of every tiny detail when it comes to this band and well, why we do that I don't think I have an answer for that it's just something that's very we're just like very driven boys you know like we want to we want to be able to deliver uh, the best version of this band and we do what it takes to be able to do that. It was always a plan to, when we would, we would deliver a complete package. We would deliver something that would tell people, this is us, and expect more of it. Not better versions of it, but more of it, because this is a pretty damn good version of it. <laughs> 